Welcome to the Hillbilly RV channel. Today, uh, I got a fun little video for you. Uh, we are going to uh, be looking inside this Xantrex Pro 1000 inverter. Uh, model XM1000. The, uh, I'm pretty sure the customer was trying to install some 12 volt batteries in place of some 6 volt batteries. And I think what had happened, don't know for sure, but I think he put 24 volt in this inverter. Um, apparently he didn't like it. He let the magic smoke out of it. What is magic smoke? If you've never heard that phrase before, you know, there's a lot of magic goes on in something like this, you know? Takes AC, or takes DC power, turns it into AC power. Well, that's magic. And if you do something wrong, and you let the magic smoke out, guess what? It no longer works. So that's where the magic smoke thing comes from. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started in this. I'm gonna tilt the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, but I'm just gonna talk while I, I get the cover off this. I have not seen inside of it. I'm a little anxious to see it myself. He said it lost a lot of smoke, so. Let me get you pointed down. Alrighty, don't really know how to get this thing apart. I'm going to take this cover off the bottom here first. And uh, now a lot of y'all, I tell you, the last few videos, been some frustrating stuff going on in the last few videos. Um, this this inverter came from the last converter video I did. Where it turned out there wasn't anything wrong with the converter. The guy was calling this the converter. And he had a battery disconnect. He had purposely, um, he had uh, turned off a battery disconnect switch, threw me for a loop. Uh, so yeah. Stuff like that's just, just super frustrating. Um, <laughs> and the uh, the video that you saw just the other day of mine, where I was working on that trap, replacing that trap under that guy's sink. Um, you know. <laughs> That, that job should have took 20 minutes and uh, you know it did not because you know the the trap goes on you know it screws up on the bottom of the strainer it's got a rubber gasket there that was wanting to leak so I tightened a little more tightened a little more tightened a little more still wanted to leak took it off made sure everything was good and clean put it back together and then the other end started want to start leaking the tapered end and i tighten it and tighten it tighten it tighten it and it was severely over tight when i got done still leaked took it apart took it all back apart again there was a the smallest little burr uh where they manufactured that uh that trap i mean it was almost it was it's was almost non-existent you could barely feel it took my knife and just just scraped it off a little bit, put it back together, it's good to go. You know, I don't know, it's just like every job I've done here recently has been like super frustrating. Um, well, this is not as impressive as I thought it was gonna be. I only see, uh, I see one thing smoked here on the board. I don't even know whether you're gonna be able to see it. It's up, up here. It's up here. I uh, I see some stuff burn up. Um, I don't even know what that thing is. A couple, couple of diodes or something maybe. That's it. I was hoping this was going to be really impressive. Well. Well. I thought that was going to be more impressive. <laughs> uh, oh. A lot of people ask about my hand uh, today's two weeks and I'm all healed up still just itchy 
So that was a uh, I'm some pretty, pretty gnarly injuries there. But as you can see, I'm a fast healer. I don't put medicine on my stuff. I don't put Neosporin on every time I get a little cut. I just keep working. You know, get dirt and grease and grime and mouse droppings and human poop or whatever. It gets in there and I don't know. I just, I heal quickly. So that's good because I injure quickly too. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I guess that's going to be it for this one. I really thought that was going to be more impressive. So, uh, as always, I really appreciate y'all watching. And I don't say this very often, but please go consider going to my website and, uh, uh, going to the merch link, get yourself a hoodie, uh, get yourself a t-shirt. I know I keep thinking hoodie weather's over with and then it gets cold. It's high like 40 today. It's sunny and warm. I mean, sunny and looks warm, but it's 40 degrees. But um, consider going and getting yourself a t-shirt. Uh, uh, there's also a link there to buy hats, stickers. Um, all that stuff helps. I really appreciate it. And um, that's uh, going to be it for today. So uh, don't forget to leave me a comment, criticism, or concern. I'll catch you all in the next one.